Right, welcome back to Bloodstock 2017 with Planet Moss. Backstage with the guys from Hoof Knuckle. Hello, sir. <laughs> Thank you very much, sir. And um, I have to start interviews by saying, um, not long come off the stage, but it's, it is literal. Literally, you, yeah, not yeah, long. Yeah. Longer. I can still see the beads of sweat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was definitely that. <laughs> yeah, there was a lot of sweat. Yeah. It, was, it was excellent. So t tell us how it went. Was it everything you were hoping for? Yeah, it was. Um, first off, I want to say a big, massive thank you to the crew. Yeah. Uh, they're, they're absolutely phenomenal, you know. Yeah. Setting everything up, getting, getting the, the volume, the levels right. Um, and any alterations that you need to do on stage as well, the sound guy was on it instantly. Yeah, absolutely I was happy because I didn't experience. have to lift my guitar head on the stage. <laughs> yeah. So he plugged it all in, did it all, yeah. and all I had to do was turn it on and play it. It was, uh, it was amazing. <laughs> Yeah, well, it's it's definitely spoiled. And the thing is, you'll get used yeah. to this kind of treatment now. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and, yeah, and then it's back, things, it's, you know. back to, it's back to the lowly yeah, <laughs> pubs and clubs now. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Yeah. So, dog and duck. <laughs> <laughs> so, what got us to Bloodstock? Was it Metal to the Masses? Yeah, uh, Metal to the Masses got us to Bloodstock. We in won Yorkshire. in Yorkshire, Yorkshire and we won the Selby Heat. So, yeah, we were really chuffed with that. Were, were the other bands that were playing, did you know them as...? as yeah, absolutely. We've done uh, quite a few gigs with them. Uh, it was like Lead Robot and Broken, and Broken have been around for quite a while and that. And yeah, quite a few bands and Kingdom of Chaos. In fact, we actually, um, when it came to the second heat, uh, the semi-final heat, we actually didn't win. Um, and then uh, the, metal to the, the, the uh, Kingdom of Chaos was in the final, but they booked a holiday. <laughs> and they said, uh, we can't do it, so Ian Wright, who has the venue in Selby, uh, got in touch with us and says, do you want to do it? And we thought, oh, yeah, all right. And we just got a new guitarist, which is Wayne Pickering, on to my right. And um, literally we had one practice, one gig, and then we played that. <laughs> and uh, we won it, which we were really blown away by. Yeah, we, just, we didn't expect it. We thought, well, we've already lost, so we're not going to win. Yeah. You know, so our, um, our singer, he used to play the guitar as well, but he couldn't really do the both very well. And um, it was like, we eventually pulled him aside and said, look, man, you're a really good front man just on vocals, so just do that and we'll yeah. get another guitarist in. He already knew the songs. Yeah, I was going to ask, was that, and stuff, so. was that a bit of a sort of shock for you coming in and one practice? And yes and no. It was a shock at how quickly it elevated. And it's, <laughs> uh, you know, but I kind of had a feeling that I was going to get in, so... Yeah. You know, just because, you know, we told this lot... You're in. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they kind of said, learn the bloody songs. Uh, well, Wayne, Wayne is um, he, he's a sound engineer at our house. Oh, which is where we practice so um, obviously when we're practicing Wayne's in his little studio doing whatever he's recorded during the day and, uh, and all this is sinking in oh, just yeah. sink, yeah. sinks into his brain and, and we, me and him have been in bands for 10-15 years on and off you know what I mean so yeah. he picks yeah. things up just as quick as I do it usually listens by ear and you can just tell kind of things yeah. it works okay. out it works out cool Going back to today's set then, did, did you get a chance to savour it or was it sort of blink of an eye? It does, it does flash by, I must admit, we have a, a certain set we do in half an hour. Yeah. And we were trying to turn it around and do some different things. So we're like, well, if this won, then let's just play it. If we know we're going to be right with it, let's stick with it. So we stuck with it and it turned out great. So uh, yeah. we really can't argue that. Yeah, brilliant. So what are we at with um, actual physical stuff that's out there you got an ep out or one we had, or? A, we had eps that we printed especially for today but for, for, for bloodstock and they are all gone yep. we don't have one anymore and all the t-shirts are now gone so if you want anything <laughs> physical you're not so. going to get it we are completely out of stock at the minute we have to do a reorder of t-shirts yeah. uh, we're going to do we're actually going to do a new design and uh, we're going well, to we're actually well, going yeah. to go and write some more music because the reason our singer isn't here at the minute doing this interview is because he's just got a call from his wife. She might be in labour. So he's now by the <laughs> phone in the tent to see if he's actually in labour. He might be flooring uh, it back up to Yorkshire. That's no excuse. So, uh, yeah, <laughs> what's going on there? Uh, so, yeah, that's why we're here. But yes, we've, got, um, we've, been, we've recorded a lot of songs. So while we've got our two-track EP out, we've got um, another five recorded. Yeah, we've got another five recorded at the moment. That in the mix. Uh, and then, so do you think you might hang on and stretch it to a sort of album rather than EP or? We could do, um, we don't really know really, we don't know what we're going to do with it. It's uh, at the moment with the, with the chance of a baby on the approach and stuff, yeah, it's, all, it's all like kind of changed a bit. And, yeah, yeah. And that, we were hoping that the EP would be ready for this. 
and we couldn't get it ready in time, so we, we did the tracks that we did. To be fair, it's, it's 364 days since our first gig so today. It's a so, whirlwind, isn't it? Yeah, really? so at the moment, it's like, oh, what's coming up next? It's like, <laughs> <laughs> loads of things, it's just in what order, you know? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Brilliant. Yeah. So once once you get back home from Bloodstock, what's the priority then? Is it is it the new stuff, or you got any gigs? lined up we've, uh, we've only got one gig coming up at the end of september and i can't even tell you where that is at the moment so I'm, uh, somewhere closer to home presumably yeah, yeah, it's, yeah it's in wakefield yeah, yeah. oh yeah it's, it's, in Fox. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. it's at the snooty fox has just moved venues and the new venue that it's in is absolutely fantastic as well um and he always does a live stream so mm, okay. whenever there's a gig on he, he live streams it on the Snoo on the snooty fox youtube channel so if you so. stub your toe you've got a twisted sock you can go on your phone and watch us from there. <laughs> and make us feel great. <laughs> brilliant, brilliant. Oh, I can't leave because I've had an excuse for you. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, for, for everyone listening, then follow you on the Twitter Facebook, and Facebook and all Twitter, that Instagram, all, all the usual. Yep. YouTube. Yeah. And it's just good old hoof knuckle. Yeah, excellent. <laughs> good old hoof knuckle. There you go. <laughs> Well, thanks very much for your time and congratulations. Thank you very much for today. And um, Bloodstock's always a great springboard, so you know, keep Absolutely. it rolling and onwards and upwards and all that business. Absolutely. And everybody um, listen to Planet Mosh. Yes. And yeah. we'll, we'll, we'll see you back next year with a bit of luck. Hopefully, fingers crossed. Yeah, we'll be applying. We'll see what. Well. Thank you very much. Thanks for your time. <laughs>